Lots more action on the ice continues in period number two, and business picking up in the broadcast booth, too, when the legendary Snoop Dogg joins us here on EA Sports. Second period action, I'll tell you what, when our producer told us that he was going to join us in the broadcast booth, I didn't believe it, but man, he is here right now. Yes, I am. The one right right here. Here. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Snoop Dogg. Wow, hockey world, what's up, y'all? How you doing? Man, I'm good, huh? All right, if you're an in-game presenter, you're in charge of presenting a hockey game tonight for the crowd. How do you present it? How does Snoop roll it out? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lights, camera, and a whole lot of action. We're going to have some beautiful people in the house to bring on the introduction. And the game is going to be fun filled. We're going to do it outdoors. We're going to make it outdoors. That's what we're going to do. Take the party outside. Take it outside. You've been around the league. You've traveled around the world. You must meet some of these athletes. Do you know some NHLers? Yeah, I know a couple of them. Now, you know a few friends of mine happen to play in the NHL. P.K. Subban. What up, P.K.? My main man, Sid the Kid. That's my favorite player. But, you know, me and Sid got a nice love for each other. Every time we see each other, we shake hands and bump fists and do what we do. And he do what he does. I does what all I do. Come it's on, man. 87, man. You know what I'm talking about? I'm also, I, I'm a big fan of Ovechkin, too. And I've been loving him for years. And uh, the goalie quick from the Kings. He's special. You've celebrated cups with the Kings. I mean, they let me drink, man. I mean, what was I supposed to do, man? Me and Stanley got to understand. Hey, Stanley. Has hockey had any sort of cultural impact on hip-hop? Oh, definitely. I mean, I started wearing the hockey jerseys in my first videos, and um, people started catching on from there. And then it's like after that year after year, you would see people give me hockey jerseys when I would show up to towns that, you know, were hockey relevant. And I would wear them and represent them, and then hockey became a big thing in the hip-hop community. Do you remember the first jersey that you wore that really kind of made a statement? Maple Leafs, baby. Toronto. A Leafs jersey? Man, a Leafs jersey because it was blue and it had that leaf in the middle, if you know what I mean. Ah! Hey, look, I know I'm no Chick Hearn, but you want to still hang around watch the rest of this period? Look here, James, I got a little bit of time on my hand. Let's do it, baby. Let's enjoy this. There he is. He's going to hang out with us. Let's go. Up along the wing. Over the line they come. Go! No, he didn't. Nice. No, he didn't. Oh, he did. Oh, he didn't. What a hit. From the slot, fires away. Oh, no. He's. I need that. I need that. That crossed the line. That's a goal. Go. The light is yeah. on. Light is on. Give me mine. And he's lit up our guest in the broadcast. He's so move. lit. I think he looks like he's landing an airplane there, James. He waves his glove at the puck. It still goes into the net. The Titan have got back to the face-off circle and probably feeling yeah. a little bit better now. Well, for much of the game, James, they've been out to lunch, but now at least they're back within two. You can start believing again. Scored by number 32. Assisted by number 42. Takes the feet at the back end. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Akini Bathurst done a really nice job positionally tonight. They've stolen the puck every time, it seems, when they needed to. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. A glorious chance, and the stick breaks. Oh. Grabs the puck at center. Referee singling delayed penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Gets in front of it. Here's the official call. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way. A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get now. Takes the pass from the left wing. Sends it across. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. He is the D-O-double-G, the dog father himself, Snoop Dogg. And we thank him so much for his time here on NHL 20. Third period is coming up in moments. What a treat to be joined here in the broadcast booth. The one, the only hip-hop icon, Snoop Dogg. How are you, sir? Hey, 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 baby. Let me put these headphones on so I can hear what I'm saying. He is ready to roll. Oh, crystal clear. Can you hear what I'm saying, baby? Loud and clear, sir. What a pleasure. Man, pleasure's all mine. You're all about pushing boundaries, creating an image. When you were a kid, how old were you when your first album dropped? Man, I was like maybe 19 years old. Okay, so a lot of young players around the NHL can appreciate that sort of vibe. For those guys that are kind of building their own brand right now, what do you say to them? Say, man, stay true to what you do and master your craft, you understand me? And go study the greats. If there's somebody that you love that was great, go study him and see what he did to become great and try to be greater. What do you like about the game? Say, man, you know I like the 
the goals, I like the hits, and I like the fighting. You like the scrapping element, I love too. the scrapping. Scrap till you get knocked out. <laughs> Here they are on the attack. And he says no! Here we go, Snoop. Oh, it's time to scrap. And it finally comes to an end. Snoop is ready to run out of the ice. You're fired up here. Look at the teammates clicking their sticks on the side. I like that. Jack slides it across. Here's a chance. Oh, no worries. Split. Good defense. The Dogfather's loving that one. Man, the split. Good defense. Lickety split. Hello. And there's the save. Stars sell the game here, Snoop. Who are some of the guys that you cheered for? Man, Marcel Dion back in the days. I used yeah. to love the way he got out on the mute. And of course, 99. Gretzky, the great one. Have you ever met Wayne? Man, me and Wayne, I'm, I'm the greater one. You're the great <laughs> That's my nephew. <laughs> Hey, look, I know I'm no Chick Hearn, but you want to still hang around, watch the rest of this period? Look here, James, I got a little bit of time on my hand. Let's do it, baby. Let's enjoy this. There he is. He's going to hang out with us. Let's go. And that one fired right into the bench. <laughs>